Welcome to another video of the 1982 Kawasaki 750 Limited rebuild. As you can see here I have the valve cover which has been completely cleaned thoroughly and I'm going to be painting it with special paint today uh, to make it look a lot nicer. I'm uh, <coughs> going to give it three coats, two light coats initially and one heavier coat and see how this turns out and um, I'll show you a before shot which is this and show you the after shot when I'm finished and if it all works out okay I will also do the uh, cylinder head and show you how that goes so here we go well just to give you an idea this is what it looks like after a first light coat and the interesting thing is is that it covers extremely well so you just need a little bit of paint and that's uh, that's quite interesting and uh, so this is just the first coat so I'm going to let it dry for 10 minutes that's what it says on the directions on the can and um, after 10 minutes I'll give it a second coat wait another 10 minutes and give it a third and final coat and uh, show you what it looks like after that well here we have the valve cover after the second light coat now again it covers extremely well so don't get carried away and uh, try to paint it in a, all in one go um, you want a nice uh, uh, job done on the paint so take your time but uh, up till now it's going fine I'm going to wait 15 minutes and then give it a, a third and final coat and then get on to the next engine part that was a third and final coat this is a little bit heavier coat than the first two which were light coats I made sure that everything was covered and um, I'll have it dry now for a while and then I'll let it dry for a few more hours and then um, I'll have to uh, uh, get it as hot as possible at least something like uh, 150 degrees Fahrenheit to have the paint set uh, much better so I'll show you how I do that in a few hours do that this afternoon in the meantime I already brought in the uh, already brought out the cylinder head as you can see it's already been cleaned and already been masked off now the intention here is to do the bottom end because it's upside down do that first um, finish it off with three coats so I'm able to turn it around and do the other side so I'm now going to start on the cylinder head I'll get back to you like I mentioned I need to do the cylinder head in separate stages here's the first coat on the top um, with a little bit of overspray and I'll do this two more times on the top end and then turn it around and uh, do actually the top end because it's upside down so at least it gives you an idea how this is going I was able to carefully put the valve head cover uh, into the shed on a stand just to make sure that it all uh, dries up nicely and uh, so now I can uh, move on with the cylinder head and in the background in the meantime uh, you can see the bike standing here I actually um, put on the front forks again yesterday and uh, they're still perfect they're fine uh, put on the front fender which I already painted flat black and uh, put the brakes back on and uh, slowly moving up uh, just carefully uh, looking how I put everything back together again uh, I'm going to do the tank uh, I was thinking about keeping it uh, bare metal, but that's not going to happen. Uh, it's way too prone to, uh, to rust. And um, even in the shed, if I leave it there for a long time, it will start rusting. So I'm going to be painting that anyway. Um, so I have quite a few more things to do, but I want to slowly move up from the front back. And uh, as you know, the engine has to go back in. But uh, I'll have to finish that off first. So just to give you an idea back to the cylinder head here we have the cylinder head 
coat two has been done. So now I'm going to do the uh, third coat. Let it dry for a few minutes and then uh, turn it over and finish it. Well, as you can see here, I was able to turn it around. So this is the top side of the cylinder head and it's actually going to need uh, two more coats. So I'm slowly uh, finishing this part of the engine and because of the uh, getting in between all of these fins uh, you have to turn it around anyway to make sure you get coverage on both sides of the fins and um, so that's what I'm doing now it's going to need a couple of more coats and uh, I think I have just enough paint in one can to finish the um, valve head cover and also the cylinder head so as soon as I get finished with the last paint, I'll give it a last shot for you on the video. And um, after that, it will have to dry for a couple of hours. Here you see the finished cylinder head. It's had three coats of paint. And what you have to look out for is look closely in between the fins when you're spray painting because you want to cover it all also inside of the fins so I took my time on that and made sure that I covered it as good as possible uh, besides that uh, the paint has worked fine so I'm satisfied I'll put this one in the shed now and uh, round off this video well here we have the cylinder head which I put back in the shed just to make sure that it uh, dries up without any issues and um, it turned out okay um, as you can see I really tried to get in between the fins just to make sure I covered everything with the uh, special paint so I'm going to let this dry now and uh, there you have the uh, valve cover which is drying at the moment now I did in the meantime order a top gasket kit uh, for the engine and if everything goes well that should be coming in uh, this Wednesday, it's now Sunday and I still have a lot of work to do though. The top gasket set consists of a base gasket and a cylinder head gasket and also the valve cover gasket and you get a few more odds and ends like uh, the little gasket for the uh, chain can tensioner stuff like that um, I do still have a lot of work to do on the engine as you can see here I covered it up just to make sure it uh, nothing falls into the engine I have to uh, clean off the base gasket which is stuck to the engine base and that's going to take some time because I don't want anything to fall into the engine um, as soon as I get that finished and cleaned all out then um, I of course need to uh, put in new valve seals into the um, valve head uh, so I'll also be buying those this coming Wednesday and of course I still have to paint the, uh, the valve head itself I only did the cylinder um, cylinder head now and the uh, the valve uh, cover uh, so I still need to do the valve head so I'll be showing you that also and hopefully within an hour or two weeks uh, I can start putting back the engine putting it back together and uh, putting it back onto the bike well the valve head, head cover has been finished and as you might have guessed it needs some heat curing and I'm not going to put it in the oven so that's not a good idea and uh, this is my solution to do some heat curing of the paint and it's actually working quite nice and uh, it's getting warm enough and I'll leave it on there for about 45 minutes maybe to an hour um, until the heat curing has been done and then I'll do the um, cylinder head also and uh, that's it for now look forward to the next video